Um, I, I make no apologies for the venue. Uh, the classic images of the last two great recessions in the UK were all based at Waterloo. It was the famous cardboard city, the soup kitchens and such like. So I remember coming here as a volunteer in the early 90s and the whole world revolves and once again we're in the middle of a recession and we're back in Waterloo. Fantastic. I promise you all that if in 18 months, two years time, we're doing a session on how to control fundraising in a boom, <laughs> we will rent out the Cafe Royal and invite you all back again to that one. But for today, I'm afraid you're going to have to put up with underneath the railway at Waterloo. Completely appropriate, I do think. I'd just like to go through the agenda for today very quickly, make sure everybody's uh, getting what they expected. People are talking about a recession, but I think we all know it's a bit different. So what I'd like to do is take a quick good look at what this is, and what effect is it happening on the population and on giving. Probably the bit that everybody will take away and show to their boss is some very quick short-term actions of what we need to do right now. And then number four, which will be slightly controversial, but stuff we've been harping on about for some time, using this thing as an excuse to drive forward some changes that we should have been doing anyway. Like the top this, it's called fundraising through a recession. And quite frankly, if people are sitting here planning for when the recession is coming, you're too late. Yeah? It's here, we're in the middle of it, and what we should now be doing is looking further forward. I'd then like to point six and seven, be a little self-indulgent, but go right back to the very big picture again. Um, and look at what's happening to the population psychographically. Great word, isn't it? The mood of the nation is changing. There's absolutely no doubt about it. We've known this for some time, and this thing um, is definitely hastening the change in the mood of the nation. There's no doubt about it. So we'd like to have a look at the mood of the nation, different generations of people, and what's happening to that. I'm then going to put to you a permanent solution to this economic ridicule that we currently work in and show that charities, voluntary giving and indeed you have a very important role in the permanent solution. The composition, um, the, 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 the content of this session has been put together by a mix of three things. One is aggregating research from every source I can possibly find to try and find out what's actually happening. Two is some real life psychographic and demographic research that, that we've done, uh, and three is my personal opinion and ranting, challenging behaviour. Um, I will leave you to pick out which is which from all the various parts of it. Okay, happy with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. People are nodding at the start. That's encouraging. Okay, so what is this thing anyway? Is this a recession? Let's have a look. And let's try and, and get there. I'm going out and I've had a real, real good crack at this and try and find what's, what's happening there. There's been some funny questions coming up from people saying, okay, where's the money gone? What's happened to it? What's actually happening? Who's got the money? So start digging and start really looking into some economics. What's happening in the world? How have we got to where we are today? And some really harsh quite surprising and really dangerous stuff comes out. Here is one truth that we have to face up to in any developed economy. Money does not exist. We have something called the pound sterling, which is meant to be based on the value of a pound of silver. That concept disappeared around about 1650. Yeah? And what's happened since then? Well, that is a seminar much better done by an economist than by me. But thankfully, someone has done a 45 minute version of it online. And you can get it free of charge. If you just type money as debt into Google, you will find this wonderful 45 minute presentation that starts about 1400 and goes right through to the, current, to the present day and tells us what money actually is.